In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a fully dynamic Intracto radar chart using Microsoft Excel. The first thing you simply select all of the data sheet, click on insert, recommended chart, all chart, select the radar chart and hit OK. I will move this chart to my area. I already filled my area and I just need to expand my chart. The next thing I will delete chart title. Also, I will delete legend of my chart. The next thing I will simply go to format and for the shape fill, I will select no fill and for the shape outline, I will select no outline. The next thing I will click on category label and simply assign white font color and hit control B to make it bold as well. The next thing you can see these X axis. So simply click on X axis, right click format X axis and here you can see a tick mark. Just expand and simply select cross join now you can see a cross has been added to my radar chart the next thing i will scroll a little bit more in the label expand the label and in this case i want to hide the label so i will simply non the label the next thing we need to select actual radar chart you can simply go to format click here and actual radar chart and now click on chart design simply select change chart type in this case i will select fill radar chart and simply hit OK. The next thing I will simply click on actual radar chart and right click format data series and here you can see a bunch of options. Line marker. The first thing I will simply click on marker and now here you can see three options. Marker options, fill and border. I will click on fill first and I will assign this orange color. And for the transparency I will set let's say 60% and hit OK. The next thing I will click on line and in this case I will select solid line. I will select the line color let's say orange the same color and I will increase the width of my line a little bit more. Let's say 2.5 is enough. You can change the different color to see the effect. But I think the orange color is looking fine. Okay the next thing I will click on format again and simply select target in this case. And now you can see this portion has been activated. Now from the format data series, I will click solid line. And in this case, I will select white line. I will increase the width of my chart a little bit more. And our chart is almost final. For now, I will close format data series and I will click somewhere else. So this is how our final chart look like. Now the only trick is how we can increase the category label space from the radar chart. So I will scroll a little bit to the left side and here I will show you a little bit small trick. I will increase the column width of column A and I will simply assign this let's say helper. Click equal quotation mark and type let's say three times space quotation mark again and percent and select the B1 cell sorry B2 cell and percent quotation mark three times more space quotation mark again and simply hit enter now i will drag this formula down and the next thing i will simply click on my chart click on chart design select data in this case i will assign this helper x axis so i will simply edit and i will assign my helper x axis and simply hit ok and also hit Okay, now you can see we have a little bit more space between category label and my radar chart. If you want, you can increase the space a little bit more by simply adjusting this formula. Just double space and add double space here. Hit enter and now simply drag this formula down. So this is how we can increase the space to make our radar chart look much better. I hope you learned something useful from the video. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. If you have any specific question, just write comment. Thank you so much.